Welcome to a Council of Black Belts. I'm Shihan Scotty Phillips. I hold the current ranking of 8th Don, and I'm Nidai Soki, second generation, head of family, I Real. I'll be the moderator of this episode, entitled Virtue. What is a Council of Black Belts? It is simply what the name implies. A group of black belts from various martial arts styles coming together to openly discuss various topics in and around the martial arts. In addition, it is an open and honest discussion not only in martial arts studies and or instruction, but how to incorporate martial arts into one's daily life. Our topic of discussion today is virtue. An internet search defines virtue as follows. It is a tendency to act right and do right by others. Virtue is more enduring than a behavior. Instead of doing the right thing once or following a rule, being virtuous means that you become a kind person and one that follows the rules. How does the Bible speak of virtue? Philippians 4, chapter 4, verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good, report. If there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5-8. through 8. For this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue, and virtue with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with steadfastness, and steadfastness with godliness, and godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love. For if these qualities are yours, and are increasing, they keep you from being ineffective or unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. From the Guardian Manual, A Lesson in Martial Arts Leadership, virtue is defined as the moral the good behavior or character, a good and moral quality, the good results that come from something. In daily life, virtue is applied within the dojo or dojang, morally good behavior and character are the prevailing standard. Outside the doors of the dojo, it can be very different. In so many venues today, lying, cheating, even stealing are the norm. In some communities, an attempt to justify such sordid actions is being made by claiming one must do what they have to do in order to survive. In reality, it is only an attempt to excuse bad behavior and poor moral character. Unless experiencing mental illness, a guardian does not have two separate forms of behavior. There is never an inside the training hall, outside the training hall guardian. A guardian strives to develop a strong character and to live a victorious life. In the training hall, there is a choice of two paths to succeed a task. One, which is difficult and requires character to accomplish. The other is easy and requires little to no character. Yet the latter is typically not entirely ethical and lacks virtue. A guardian will always choose the path of virtue. A person with technical skill equal to a guardian but without virtue is merely a well-trained fighter. Defending one's virtue and making good moral choices should always take precedence as long as one's moral compass is of far, far greater consequence. One either has moral values or one does not. How does Japanese culture speak of virtue? The Japanese samurai followed a code of honor and moral values referred to as Bushito, which literally translates to the way of the warrior. Bushito is a set of principles that guided the behavior of the samurai and shaped their moral character. The values of the Bushido are courage, justice, benevolence, politeness, honesty, honor, loyalty, and self-control. Bushido enabled the samurai to fight with integrity and honor to respect their enemies, 
and to remain loyal to their superiors. It was a set of beliefs that the samurai followed that provided them with an ethical code to live by. In various discussions about Bushido, it's viewed as a strict set of rules for the samurai to follow. Perhaps that is true. However, Bushido was more a set of values that the samurai observed voluntarily in an effort to govern their conduct in all aspects of life. The samurai were not alone in following the Bushido code. Others included the, the Shinto priest, the Zen Buddhist monks, and the Taoist priests. Bushido was thought of as a code of values that was followed by the samurai in ancient Japan, yet these values are just as important today as they were thousands of years ago. The panel is now open for discussion. What are your thoughts and or experiences with virtue? Please feel free to share your thoughts as well as additional topics you would like to see discussed. If you're interested in being a part of the Council of Black Belts, please let me know. We've begun an additional topic to our discussion called What Would Soki Say? This segment allows us to hear the thoughts from those no longer with us on this side of the dojo. If you have a sensei or teacher who is no longer with you on the earthly journey, please share his or her thoughts on a topic and we'll include such thoughts when the topic is discussed. I look forward to hearing from you. Reach out to me via email idaru1982 at gmail.com That's A-I-D-O-R-Y-U 1982 at gmail.com Until next time, let's further enjoy thoughts of other members of the Council of Black Belt. Grandmaster Hackworth shares his thoughts on virtue. These are some virtues that we can impart to our young students so that these values can become part of their moral character. Being a martial arts teacher doesn't just entail teaching classes full of techniques. It also means passing on the appropriate virtues and values that could help mold them into successful and compassionate adults. So here are some of the virtues that we can impart to our young students so that these values can become part of their moral character. What are virtues and values? Values refer to a set of beliefs that a person considers to be important for himself as a human being and for our humanity itself. Meanwhile, virtues are defined as attitudes, traits, and habits that define our character as a person and enable us to embody the ideas that we have adapted. Instilling the correct values and virtues in students is very important because these could influence their integrity and morality as well as their attitude and behavior towards life. Knowing good values and virtues can build our students' character, help them tell what is right from wrong, and cope with difficult situations. Remember that students learn values by observing what you do and taking after your example. So as a responsible teacher, it is also important that we walk the talk and always set the right tone. Reaching others is an important trait. This is a very important moral value that we should teach our students as early as possible since respect plays an important role as to how they will treat and relate to other people. As early as possible, we should train our students to respect one another regardless of their gender, age, and social standing. Teach students to be solicitous and attentive to others and that every human being deserves to be respected for what they and who they are. Saying sorry is needed to strengthen relationships. Another important virtue that we should teach our young students is that the ability to be humble and apologize when they hurt someone in class. This will help them develop a sense of responsibility and accountability over their actions, no matter how small their faults is. Teach them that it's okay to make mistakes, feel guilty, say sorry, and never do it again. Teach students that others have feelings too. It's very important that we teach our students that the world does not revolve around them, that no one is more superior or inferior, and most of the time, when necessary, they must try to adjust and compromise with other people. 
Train your students to consider and be empathetic with others' feelings. Being honest in every situation is valuable. As the saying goes, honesty is the best policy. We must teach our students about the virtues of value and honesty and the consequences of lying so they can appreciate and strive to always tell the truth even in difficult situations. Seeking justice and speaking up is a virtue. Along with being honest, we should also train our students to have a sense of justice. It is equally important for them to have the courage to speak up and stand for what is right when they see wrongdoing. One example to train a young student to be honest and seek justice is when they see a bullying in school doing something wrong. If your student sees a bully in school who is stealing other kids' food, train your student to speak up and let school authorities know. The love for learning. A love for learning is a very important value that can help a student soar and reach new places in all areas of their life. Not only will it give a lot of career and academic opportunities, but it can also train them to dream, aim high, and achieve their own goals. Therefore, as early as possible, it would be very helpful if you can hone our students' appreciation for education on and off the map. Practice techniques and forms. Your daily martial arts practice helps you to cultivate more self-awareness through mindfulness and awareness of the breath. When you are present on the martial arts training floor, you are fully aware of every part of your body. You feel your body in each stance and how it moves. When you breathe, you can feel the air filling your lungs. When you feel unbalanced, just by grounding your feet, it changes your awareness and anchors you to the moment to regain focus and stability. The more you practice connecting your body on the mat, the more you will be self-aware off the mat and in your daily life. The secret of awareness is to just watch everything that is going on in the body and the mind. Become a witness and an observer, not attached. Do not resist it. Just gently cultivate the practice of becoming a witness and watch your life will change for the better. Virtue is defined as behavior showing a high moral standard. The subject of this article is to teach the virtues of the warrior. The samurai, or bushi warrior, follow a code of ethics called the bushito, way of the warrior code. There are seven virtues to this code. The first is gi, action duty. G is to do the right thing. It is when we look at the intent of our thoughts, speech, and actions then we know if it is the right action. When we satisfy that it is the right action, then this virtue becomes part of our standard or code of conduct. The second virtue is yuki, or courage. Yuki can be defined as brave, courageous energy. That is your actions even when the odds are against you and despise feelings of fear. You can stand up against any physical, mental, or spiritual obstacle. The third virtue of Bushido Code is Jin, or Benevolence. Jin is the benevolence that unites each human with another. It is having compassion and love for all mankind, because we are human beings first, and have a responsibility to treat everyone as we want to be treated. The fourth virtue of the Bushido Code is Rei. Rei, which is defined as respect. One of the tenets of the Korean martial arts says, Listen and have respect to all but stand fast to know what you know is honest and true. The fifth virtue of the Bushido Code is Makoto. Makoto, which is defined as truthfulness or deep sincerity, truth in thought, word and action. The warrior will be judged by one's words and actions. When they are governed by the truth and sincerity, then people will respect you for those qualities. The sixth virtue of the Bushido Code is Minyo. Minyo, which can be defined as honor, is enjoy, to enjoy a good reputation. When the samurai gave his word, it was his bond of honor. 
to not honor, it would be a loss of face and would result in the warrior having to take his own life. The seventh and final virtue of the Bushido Code is Jujin, loyalty. Jujin is the act faithful and to be loyal. The warrior or martial artist first and foremost should be loyal to oneself and the things that you love, trust, and believe in. When one lives up to the standards of the Bushido Code, then the warrior is said to be on the path of Do or the Way. These virtues are to be strived for daily for the rest of your life. As a warrior, when you strive to live right, you will maintain your personal code. Once you apply these virtues in your daily life, it will become a nature, natural part of your habits. The warrior, following the Bushido Code, will embrace these virtues and lead by example. It will become second nature as one constantly incorporates these principles in one's daily life. Next, let's hear Shihan Bill Hallman's thoughts on virtue. How does Japanese culture speak of virtue? The Japanese samurai followed a code of honor and moral values referred to as Bushito, which literally translates to the way of the warrior. Bushito is a set of principles that guided the behavior of the samurai and shaped their moral character. The values of the Bushido are courage, justice, benevolence, politeness, honesty, honor, loyalty, and self-control. Bushido enabled the samurai to fight with integrity and honor to respect their enemies and to remain loyal to their superiors. It was a set of beliefs that the samurai followed that provided them with an ethical code to live by. In various discussions about Bushido, it's viewed as a strict set of rules for the samurai to follow. Perhaps that is true. However, Bushido was more a set of values that the samurai observed voluntarily in an effort to govern their conduct in all aspects of life. The samurai were not. That's a pretty good start, but teaching negatives usually isn't as effective as positive reinforcement. Probably the movie The Last Dragon by Barry Gordon has one that I adapted. The most effective tool I have used was to have a school motto that students recited at the start of class. The Chinese Gujo is my secret, I bear no arms. Consequence is our guide. Peace is our shelter. Beauty and perfection is our life. May God help me if I ever have to use my art. You probably don't teach Chinese goju, but you get the idea. Come up with your own motto. These give a, this gives a daily reminder of the way martial artists should live. Now, for the hard part, and I'm going to put this in all caps. You cannot teach virtue if you do not love a virtuous life. It does not matter how many trophies you've won, or how many donations you've made to charity. Your students are watching you in every class and often outside of class. Make sure you always come to class prepared. Always show transparency and honesty in your words and actions. Always treat others with respect. Never take shortcuts. They will always come back to haunt you. In addition, we all gain a little weight as we get older. That's acceptable, but do not neglect your own training. Keep in the best shape you can, for this too is a virtue. Finally, you do not have to take a solemn oath to be saintly for the rest of your life. Just start every day with a commitment to do the right thing just for today. Over time, you will see tremendous results. Being honest in every situation is valuable. As the saying goes, honesty is the best policy. We must teach our students about the virtues of value and honesty 